What is going on guys, Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the year-long story arc in the Elder Scrolls Online and how some people in the community would like to see this change and kind of go back to the old system that we used to have uh, back years ago when DLC was released within the game. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. The website along with the discount code you can use at checkout is linked in the description as well. If you're newer to the game, you may not realize that the DLC was not always handled like it is now. Now we have this year-long story arc that starts out with the first dungeon DLC that kind of ties in, kind of or kicks off, I guess, the story for the year. Then you go into what would be used as an example like Blackwood, which is going to be the large story chapter DLC with a new zone. That kind of has a, a larger part within the story. And then at the end of the year, you will get another small dungeon DLC that will kind of wrap up the story. And also another small story DLC, which in the last few years has been some of the smaller zones kind of attached to the bigger zones. That kind of finishes off the main part of the story as a whole. Some people do not like this because they feel like the story has been watered down or kind of drunk out throughout the year. The story content is not good enough for the big DLC in kind of the middle of the year. So, for example, like the Blackwood chapter. Uh, if you take uh, last year's example, Greymore, a lot of people felt like the Greymore story was not big enough, was not exciting enough, uh, was not long enough, considering that they had to kind of stretch it out from two dungeon DLCs to one big DLC to a smaller DLC. If you guys remember, if you've played for a long time, DLC was not always handled like this. In the past, we would have different DLCs that were kind of just broken up like the smaller DLCs we have now. We would have two dungeon DLCs and two small story DLCs, but they would be in different zones. The zones may not be as big as some of the zones we're getting now, but the stories seem to be a lot more interesting. The stories seem to be a lot more you know, in-depth, uh, of course, a lot longer in length. And a lot of people liked that method better than the year-long story arc. So I'm really curious what you guys think, because this is a definitely a topic within the community that some people feel that you know needs to be looked at some people think that you know like i said the older way was better some people think the newer way is better i'm just curious what you guys think so leave me a comment down in the comment section and let me know personally for me i like the year-long story idea i know not everyone may not be into playing dungeons and, and trials and things like that so some things that come within this may not interest everyone some people may just enjoy the game uh, you know, just for the story. So they look forward to the big, you know, new zone we get every year with the new story and maybe the smaller DLC we get at the end of the year. So that might interest you more than two smaller DLCs that are kind of not really tied together as two separate things. Some people may like that whole year kind of idea, the whole, this thing drawn out through the entire year. But at the same time, I do get why people don't like it. Uh, personally, for me, I've been really enjoying the uh, whole year long story arc. I do think that they could make some of the bigger chapters, like, for example, Blackwood. If it's kind of a short story, like Greymore was, I, I, I kind of wish to see those, you know, be a little bit longer. Just have a little bit more detail, be a little bit more in-depth. Than kind of having to wait to that last, you know, DLC at the end of the year, that last story DLC, to kind of really figure out what happens. Not saying that the stories aren't good. I just feel like sometimes they're a bit... I guess lacking in some areas because of you know the reasons that they have to ha you know kind of have to have to finish the the DLC out you know with another dungeon DLC another small story DLC I understand why it's like that but at the same time I kind of miss a a story that really just kind of catches you and doesn't really you know let you go it's something that you want to continue to play and keep playing but right now with the way they're doing it doesn't quite feel like that to me anyway leave me a comment with your thoughts and I'll catch you all next time peace.